Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Rachel Blackmore wins gold cup on A plus tard to make. Cheltenham history. Summary of headline article. Rachel Blackmore has become the first female jockey in history to ride the winner of a gold cup. After a strong finish on A plus tard. With Manella Indo second and Protector at third Rachel Blackmore made history with a stunning. Boodle's Gold Cup win on favorite A plus Tard. The 3 to 1 favorite jumped into the lead at the final fence and sprinted 15 lengths clear from Manella Indo. 7 to 1. It was a direct reversal of the placings from last year's renewal. As A plus Tard finished second to his Henry de Bromhead trained stablemate. Blackmore is the first female jockey to win the Gold Cup. The Cheltenham Festival's feature race. I wouldn't swap the Grand National for anything but this is the Gold Cup. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Thomas Tuchel gives pointed response to Man United job. Links amid Chelsea crisis. Summary of headline article. The Blues title charge has faulted this term but Tuchel's stock remains incredibly high following. His previous work at PSG and Borussia Dortmund. United are playing catch-up to the likes of Chelsea with a top-four spot currently on their agenda. Ralph Rangnick is in interim charge until the season ends. At which point the club will seek a permanent manager. United have been urged to seize on Chelsea situation by Jamie Carragher. But Tuchel has no plans to walk out. Tuchel still has Chelsea in contention for the FA Cup and the Champions League with Real Madrid. Their opponents in the last eight. From the sun under the main headline of Liverpool dreaming of four trophies while Man United have. Nightmares over drought. Summary of headline article. Liverpool and Manchester United are separated in the Premier League by 19 points. Cartoon by Lovato It is annoying for United fans that Manchester City continue to enjoy such great success under Pep Guardiola. But ultimately, the real pain is being inflicted by Liverpool who, for many, are United's most hated rivals. United, for all their cash, have got a bunch of misfits with a totally unsuited manager in interim boss Ralph Rangnick. Just 24 hours later, Liverpool won 2-0 at Arsenal to move within one point of Leeds City. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Hamilton handed fine before first 2022 F1 race after negotiations with FIA boss. Summary of headline article. Hamilton has now confirmed he will have to pay a financial penalty for his no-show at the awards night. But that it will go to a cause. He met with new FIA president Mohammed Ben Sulayam ahead of the Bahrain Grand Prix and announced. There will be some sort of fine re. But Hamilton was clearly unable to go and watch Verstappen collect the crown the Brit thought he. Had one right up until that last lap in Abu Dhabi. I try to have serious conversations in the background to try and improve the system but it is difficult. It is risky. I just want to try and be the best I can be, in and out of the car. From Daily Star under the main headline of Nick Kyrgios confronts tennis fan before pointing to Ben. Stiller in the crowd. Summary of headline article. Tennis ace Nick Kyrgios had an unlikely interaction with Hollywood star Ben Stiller while raging at another member of the crowd during a defeat against Rafael Nadal at Indian Wells. Kyrgios asked the fan, Are you playing? Australian sports broadcaster Lachlan McCurdy said in response, I'm here for a Ben Stiller Nick Kyrgios movie. For what it's worth. Sadly for the 26-year-old.
He lost in three sets to Grand Slam King Nadal on court one. Taking his record against the Spaniard to three wins and six defeats. Will Nick Kyrgios ever win a Grand Slam? From Mail Online under the main headline of Conte hits back at Arteta's moan about Arsenal's fixture. Pile up. Summary of headline article. Antonio Conte believes Arsenal and Mikel Arteta have no grounds for complaint about fixtures after asking for the North London derby to be postponed earlier this year. Arsenal asked for the January fixture to rearrange due to their issues at the time with COVID. Injuries and players on international duty. He said, I only want to remember. Remind. Arteta. About. The game that we postponed. Tottenham v Arsenal. Okay. Yes. If we speak about fair or unfair. Okay. And. I stop. We postponed a game Tottenham v Arsenal. If you remember. From Metro under the main headline of West Ham avoid Barcelona in Europa League quarterfinal draw. Summary of headline article. Barcelona. West Ham and Rangers have all discovered their opponents for the next round. Picture. Getty slash par slash metro dot co. UK. West Ham have been drawn against Lyon in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Avoiding Spanish giants Barcelona. Barcelona got past Galatasaray in the round of 16. And they now face Eintracht Frankfurt in the quarterfinals. The semi-final draw was also made. With West Ham or Lyon facing Frankfurt or Barcelona. And Leipzig or Atalanta set to play Rangers or Braga. Europa League quarterfinal draw quarterfinals. RB Leipzig vs Atalanta Eintracht Frankfurt vs Barcelona West Ham vs Lyon Braga vs Rangers. Semi-finals. RB Leipzig or Atalanta vs Braga or Rangers West Ham vs Lyon or Eintracht Frankfurt vs. Barcelona speaking after the win over Sevilla. West Ham midfielder Declan Rice told BT Sport. I said this after the FA Cup win against Leeds. I'll take anyone and I think the lads will take anyone as well. So there's a big buzz around the place. More. Jamie Carragher makes top four prediction as Arsenal defeat gives Man United. West Ham and Tottenham hope for more stories like this. Check our sport page. From the Telegraph under the main headline of West Indies vs England. Second Test Day 3 Live. Score and Live Updates from Barbados. Summary of Headline Article. But we should not overlook the fact that without Gus Fraser's 8 for 75 and Andy Caddick's 5 for 63 in Stewie's test and Andrew Flintoff's 5 for 58 and Matthew Hoggard's 4 for 35 in 2004, England would have been sunk. It's a roundabout way of saying that the batsmen have done their jobs. No more. No less. Now it's the bowler's turn. Incidentally, England's other victory, in 1935, was shaped by rain and the desire for a positive result. England knocked him off for the loss of six wickets with Wally Hammond. Coming in at number six. And the captain Bob Wyatt. At number eight. Rescuing them from 48 for six. Oh for the days of uncovered pitches. From ITV News under the main headline of Frank Lampard breaks hand celebrating Everton win, ITV. News. Summary of headline article. Frank Lampard has revealed that he broke his hand celebrating Everton's win over Newcastle which ignited their fight to avoid relegation. The Toffees were handed a huge boost as Alex Awobi scored the only goal of the game in ninth minute of stoppage time to secure their win at Goodison Park. It was only Everton's third Premier League win since September and it lifted them three points. Clear of 18th placed Watford with two matches still in hand. But while manager Frank Lampard celebrated the team's victory.
he somehow managed to break his hand. This game is special and it hasn't felt so special for us in the last few weeks. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Guerri's rise to England squad amid Chelsea exit. A £18 million move and captaincy claim. Summary of headline article. Now. The Crystal Palace defender is celebrating a maiden call-up to the England senior team after a fine debut campaign in the top flight. His call-up by England boss Gareth Southgate, himself a former Palace centre-half, is testament to the 21-year-old's rise to prominence. New manager Patrick Vieira sanctioned an £18 million move that might have raised eyebrows elsewhere but not inside the confines of Selhurst Park. A similar opinion was echoed by Steve Cooper, who managed Gwehi whilst at Swansea and as England under 17's boss. Southgate said of the decision to pick Gwehi, he's had a really consistent season. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.